Tucked away in western Kentucky is a hidden gem for outdoor enthusiasts. One that people in a landlocked state like Kentucky will be surprised exists. Well, Blue Springs was started uh, as a thought in 1993 after a business venture of diving for golf balls um, over a few years. Uh, we decided that it was time to either get out of the diving business or go for full forward and, and get completely into it. And that's when we started looking around for the ideal location to, you know, to set up for scuba diving. That's right. Chris Tapp said diving. He's the co-owner of the Penny Royal Scuba Blue Springs Resort in Hopkinsville. It's been around for 19 years and going strong. We are the only full service diving destination in the state of Kentucky. Uh, we offer, you know, full sail service, training, repairs, travel, as well as the facility for a diving destination. We actually offer uh, what we call a uh, open water scuba diver course, which is what we call, which is it's the basic intro cl class into scuba diving. Uh, you can continue your education by taking a number of specialty classes that we offer. You can actually work your way all the way up to the professional end, what we call a dive control specialist or an assistant instructor. The facility, a former rock quarry filled up with water, is open from April to November with nearly 100 divers a day checking out the facility on weekends during the peak summertime schedule. We actually, we open up at 8 a.m. and we'll have folks lined up at, lined up at the gate bet anywhere between 7 and 7.30 waiting to get in. Our facility ranges from zero all the way down to 127 foot. Uh, we do have shallow areas for our open water or less, less trained folks, people who are learning to dive uh, depths of about 20 to 25 foot. We also have a ledge that our more advanced divers can go over that ranges anywhere from 40, 50 foot down to the 127 foot mark. And you might not expect it in a former rock quarry, but visibility at Blue Springs is amazing. Scuba diving in inland in a landlocked state like Kentucky, you can find water clarity anywhere from 10 to 15 foot average. But we we're kind of lucky here. We have we boast our average visibility is anywhere from 30 to 40 foot average. Some days we have exceptional visibility ranging anywhere from 50 to 70 foot visibility for divers. Uh, we do get decreased according to rain conditions or weather conditions as far as our visibility. But on the average, uh, our prize is the visibility. Visiting divers like Kevin Sage agree. Oh, it's great, great. Temperature was good, this was great. We got some good video today. Nice big blue catfish down there. Um, didn't see the bass, tons of bluegill. We don't allow fishing here. We consider the fish our pets as far as divers enjoy playing with and seeing the fish underwater. And so it's kind of like a, a protected habitat. We love it. We love it. I mean, I, I train divers. I live down in Nashville, um, and we come up here. The setup's great. It's easy access for beginning divers. It's the first time in the water. It's a, it's a great controlled environment. Um, I started training out in California, and you're out in the ocean, and you've got surge and currents and a lot more marine life. And it's a lot to think about when you're a first-time diver, and you're just trying to stay alive and breathe and not sink. Uh, so for first-time divers, this is great. And then for those that want, want to go more advanced, you've got it deep enough to do advanced training and overhead environments. You've got some wrecks that you can penetrate. So it's really versatile. From beginners to experts, there's lots more than just fish to check out underwater. We've got our 47-foot uh, wreck, yacht wreck, that uh, we sunk back in 2006. We also have our RV, we have our helicopter, we have the scuba bus. <laughs> that's, uh, and all these attractions are in the shallow area that I've, that I've named. Uh, for our deeper divers, we've got a couple of old, uh, old parts of the crusher hoppers that they actually used here at the quarry. We have uh, a sunken van deeper in the water. We have our blue dolphin wreck, which is a big cabin cruiser wreck for our, our more advanced divers. It sits in about 94 feet of water. So there, there's, it, it's a wide variety for different levels of scuba skills that, that folks can enjoy. 
For adventurous types, you can get your basic underwater certification in just two weekends. Any chance I get will bring students up here a lot. Think, well, there's no diving in the middle of the country. Well, we're gonna have to go to the Caribbean, but you can come here and get some really great training. It's a great spot to you know, get your feet wet first off before you go down on your vacation. Do some dives, get your certification dives in so that when you get down to your destination, you're already okay. certified, you've been underwater, Do it. and it's a great baby step before you get out in the big blue ocean. For Chris Tapp, it's a privilege to do a job he loves and help out people who come back to dive with him year after year. We have several folks who, who pull in our, our gate and will we'll stop into our admissions office and will say, you know, I've been past this place a hundred times and never knew it was here. And, uh, you know, they'll tell us, you know, well, we just live a mile down the road and never knew it was here. And my first question when somebody comes up, you know, just inquiring about, about scuba diving, my first question, do you like to swim? Number one, if, if someone who enjoys swimming they'll thoroughly enjoy scuba diving. You get some, some younger folks who are in here, we get uh, a few that's 10, 11, 12, come in diving with their parents. Uh, we get some older folks you know, who've retired, wanting something to do, something fun to do, and they'll take a scuba class and go enjoy the rest of their life and explore the other 70% of the world. <laughs> I enjoy the peace and, and solitude. When you get underwater, you don't hear planes, trains, and automobiles. No cell phones, it's just you and the bubbles. And it's just, when you breathe, you just blah, 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 that's all you hear. And it's, uh, I mean, it's just peaceful, it's relaxing. It, I find it a great stress reliever, because you can get in, you don't have to worry about hearing anything except for bubbles.